welcome back once again. And it's my prayer and hope that this video is going to find you when you're doing fine and in good health. I'm also doing fine at this very federal end. So let me know where you're watching this video from. Whichever country you are, at the weather condition, in the Middle East over here, it's winter. That informs the mode of dressing, guys. You know, guys, this is how sometimes we do it when there is an, this winter. You know, I have to protect myself and stay warm. Unless I get sick. It's just the other day when I had a very serious kind of uh, flu. So I don't want that one to happen again. So there is it. And we are surgery on. So guys, there is trouble in the paradise. And what do I refer to the paradise? A paradise, I really mean the two people who came together in the manner of partnership or marriage itself. They are forcing each other in that relationship. And they decided to build their life together. Completely stranger and it was in all. But now things have started breaking up in our own eyes and they're doing video telling us. First of all, there is one particular time I said and I addressed it that there was a problem in the trouble because they came in together and they started complaining that financially the constraint, there is nothing really even to eat. And Gabi Vas decided like he wants to go back home because he's facing a lot of challenges. Perhaps he could be getting a job over there then supports back the home. The same is significant other, significant other, that is Bushman Hewood came on board and appealed to people for other donations because they're having their problem with the monetization in the YouTube channel. You know, we sympathize with them. Other decided to troll them because even me up to date, I'm still sympathizing with them. Even right now, if you look even the, the, the health of Gabi, it's self-deteriorating. Not to body shame, but for, just for a fact, on a friend's value. If you compare and contrast the time when the Gabi Vas came to the village, now look and compare the two. Compare and contrast, you'll see the difference. But I know that's because of the lifestyle and the kind of adverse conditions they've been living in Africa, in Nyabo Anze, to be so specific. So guys, if you want to know what really happened and the trouble in the paradise I'm talking to, because that one is the earliest, there is one, the new one in form. So if you get to know the gist and the more elaborating story and how we can really come up and help them forward and remedy the situation itself, therefore I recommend this video for you. So if you're coming across this video for the very first time on this channel, kindly click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, YouTube shall notify you instantly. Let's step in after a Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Inazak and this is my YouTube channel. So guys, the trouble in the paradise, what I mean, I mean several things that there is also the problem, the trouble in paradise. Something that was meant to be so good. Other people talked about it, other people had a mixed reaction. Other people decided to troll them. But the trouble itself, it's what started that have, in my opening formula, that financial crisis and constraint. That however could see the crisis itself worsen, and the breakage of a, a marital affair or a relationship going forward could ensue. And at this point, it was worse. And what is the paradise here? The paradise is here. These are the dalians that through thick and thin, through poverty and through adverse condition, they decided to unite so that they call themselves the husband and wife. That's how they've been calling themselves. And for, that, for the matter of fact, because in the traditional aspect of life, that is it, they were husband and wife. Proclaimed. The trouble started and is continuing. Now, the new one is the worst form. What really happened? Gabi Vaz has got a story to tell us. And Gabi Vaz is telling us a lot has just happened. Do Bushman Dude has gone ahead to claim that he's the one sponsoring everything in Gabi Vaz's life. Now, which means the Gabi Vaz has become a burden to Bushman Dude. And the kind of the video that Bushman did, it is what Abiva saw. And now the trouble began over there. The trouble wasn't from that situation because Gabiva is not taking it so pretty. Because she is aware that it's what Bushman did is saying is not true. And that's why she comes out to lament and tell the subscribers that things are not good. That people could consider helping her out so that it can travel. He's, she's saying it's not the first time 
is a problem that has been reoccurring for countless number of time. Perhaps let's see how how to speak. Then we will come and give the gist one. And he's saying that I'm that he's given me everything, which is untrue. Yeah, he's he's taking care of things like food and this and that, but he's also put me through a lot of stress, like a lot of unnecessary stress and hurt. And yesterday he was calling me a bitch and telling me I should drop dead and that I'm going to get cancer and stuff. And then he goes online and says, like, it's so sad that he can't even have a conversation with me. Somebody that he was building his future with, he's just cursing at me, threatening to to do stuff. Um, I even told him yesterday, he kind of went to lift his hand and I'm like, don't even think about it. I'll, like, I'll really hit you back hard. And I'm not, he met me and he was so drunk and started to smash bottles at the border point. And I said, Elijah, I need to get away from you acting like totally on out of body. And you're so drunk again. I, I just can't take it anymore. Like what kind of a life is that for me? And I went and I woke to try and breathe in, breathe out, spend some time with my Maasai friend, Selena, and just relax. And then he followed me there and brought me back here and said he was going to change. And he said that a hundred times and it never, never, never happens. And, you know, I'm not trying to change anybody. I want to be in a relationship where the person is, you know, mature and says what they mean and means what they say and don't go online. Or, you know, talk shit and lies it and is not true. lie to them. For Bushman to come and complain, say that is the one providing everything. The land they bought, the land they are building the house, they bought. Are you there? And where is from? The, where's the money from? The money was from Gabiva's family. The daughter plus everybody sent the money to her so that they bought the land. The land was bought. The house they erected there also was fully sponsored by the Gabibas because there was no money. Because Bushman long left the work that he was doing in Mombasa. Then it was a full time. So there's nothing. So the only thing that he's providing going forward in that relationship was about food that he was providing. And that informs the reasons why you see the deteriorations of health of both of them because... Another, the other guy doesn't seem to be eating. Therefore, he takes it so simple when Gavibas also don't eat. Because the food in this house has been reduced to alcohol, the weed, and the cigarettes. Hence, the hell that's already deteriorating itself. This one we are getting from Gavibas himself, herself. And it's just telling us more truth because the problem that's already with them here is she's confirming the problem, as I'm saying, from my mouth. It's not my words, I'm getting them from the Gabivas herself. Perhaps, let's listen to this kind of a video and let's decipher a lot of the gist from it. The then you'll get to know like where the truth lies. From 6 a.m. until the evening. Um, it hasn't been said, but I'm gonna say it. He's a full blown, really abusive alcoholic. And things have gotten so bad. This isn't sickness, this is stress. Everybody's been saying that I look sick and stuff. It's pure stress, guys. Um, and to put the icing on the cake or the cherry on the top or whatever. I'm so drained and like, kind of don't expect much more. And that's why I have to leave because, and it's really sad because I thought I had a future with him and we built the house together and my mom's put so much money into that house as well, which I'm not even going to get to live in. But I'm going to stay there until I'm leaving, which is pretty soon. I don't want to give a day because people might try to block that here, like it's a crazy village. And the shit that I've been through, I don't trust anybody and, I, and now I, I'm putting Elijah in the same category because, you know, ever since I lived in his phone and seen that he's trying to hook up with other women before I leave, they're not only clients, they're women that he's been with before and he's trying to hook up with. And not just one, two or three. Like, how desperate is he? And he's been drinking alcohol all week. Oh, anybody will tell you that. I'm not lying. I have no reason to lie because it's pure disappointment for me. I don't like it when he drinks and my life gets only harder.
but he just posted a video and I had to bring myself to watch it because I'm already so angry and frustrated and disappointed and all the words but I watched it and I'm sitting there like oh my god is he okay in the brain like it's all lies yeah I did look in his phone yeah I did reach out to our friends they're not his friends we've been making these YouTube videos together as you guys know and now he's he said she got my friend's number i got judy and i already had Rance's number and judy's been reaching out and it's not a he usually gets me this is alcoholism he drinks do the weeds do the cigarettes and that's at all has become a diet in that house itself she's also telling us that majority of people right from africa and in Ireland is now telling her that she looks sick and is telling you on this face that what you look in this face is sickness and is telling you it's truly true it's sickness because there is no diet there's no food totally there's no diet there's no food which means he's sick she's sick and he needs she is in need of urgent medical attention and that's why she wants to go back at home yeah. she's telling us it's a, it has been a recurring problem that Bushman dude doesn't care anymore. There is no attention that he used to give attention. Now attention has already been attention has been averted to <laughs> alcohol, the weed, and drug abuse itself. It tells you a lot of things that is happening that the lady himself has been enduring without letting us know outside there. But because her health alone will speak otherwise. On the other side is telling us she doesn't want to be out of the relationship she wants to be in the relationship that's why it's still over there she's contemplating of leaving and go back to but the challenge is she has got no money no air ticket she's waiting out there for a well wisher who will come in for the aid to give the air ticket so that she goes back home perhaps it's the time for her also to contact the family who has been sending the money to bill the house and sponsor them back at Nyamuhanze to send the ticket perhaps or maybe there is something and I'm going to deconstruct why the family has neglected her and decided not to send any money because the family used to send money and support her and what might have happened therefore we'll get to know the reasons why these people are suffering because it was all well it was all well we all know also the deterioration of health also could be a matter of stress because the majority of the of the villagers don't speak well of them maybe because they've decided to isolate themselves and also because also of the attitude of both gabivas and bushman dude because they are rough you try to talk they will come for you and that is it perhaps that kind of isolation You've all heard Gabi was telling you that she's only having a one friend who is a Maasai lady. And that Maasai lady is the far end. They go there. She's confirming it's not the first time the thing has happened. Sometimes she's been threatened. The Bushman dude has been vile and tried to abuse. And several times she's scampered to safety to, his, to her friend, the Maasai lady. That's why sometimes when things go worse, he gets, he gets safety over there and he's, she's come back to safety to his friends. She's telling us the last thing that, time, that thing happened, she had to disappear for four days, which also culminated a certain kind of threats. Then Bushman dude calmed down, went for her and apologizes countless number of times, up to hundredth time that he will never do it again. Then she was well convinced and because you know the love itself <laughs> is so big <laughs> so they decided to go back then the hell broke loose the constraint no money being sent left and right are you there therefore bushman dude did a video saying that he, he she's the one who's providing everything is he, the one building that house uh, the gabi is doing nothing yeah? so this is the video that the attention of gabi was brought into and the gabi is now seeing that this danger looming if she doesn't leave there immediately Therefore, a lot of things might happen. So, it's my plea that I'm putting to us, everybody. Most of the women, everybody, if you have a heart, reach out. Reach out to them, most of the Gabibas, so that Gabibas could be rescued from their 
back home. It's not about restoring their relationship. They are adult. They know what they can do with themselves. The good thing is, let us not wait until it's late. Gabi was also should be helping herself going forward. How? Reach your embassy. The island embassy is here in Westland. Reach your embassy. Reach your family so that from there you can be rescued back home. If you're still in love and you want to develop your relationship, and what is now putting your relationship to a threat is because the lack of finance and the lack, the lack of finance going forward. There is money constraint going forward. But there is questions majority are asking about here. What really happened with the Gabiva's family? Why is that now they're facing the financial, financial crisis? One, it's like they've exhausted and misused it. And it seems the family have deserted them because now they've taken more from their family such that their family can never trust them and send more. Maybe their family needed, the, needed, them, needed them to be accounted their money to be accounted for, but they could not. Because they see the structure of the house and the amount of the money they've sent back home to Africa. Therefore, it doesn't commiserate with that. The work itself doesn't commiserate the money spent. Could it be that part of the money is spent in doing drugs, alcohol, and the weeds? So I think perhaps this is the trouble that's now filling up with them. Maybe the family has deserted them and neglected her. And because maybe the family want her back home. So that we are stopping sending money for you now to suffer and for you to find reasons of coming back home such that when you come back home, therefore they put you red alert, you will never get out of Ireland back to Africa again. That could be the thing because that should, that's a red flag in, in, in itself. Are you there? Perhaps, this I'm just thinking, the lily has been misused. The house has been erected. The money for buying the land is there. Now, Bushman has got all the money, has got all the land, has got all the house. Should the Gabi Vas decide to leave, all the benefits shall remain to who? The Bushman dude. That one is just part of explanation, and I have got to be very careful how I put it. I'm not saying that's the intention, but we are just doing analysis so that we be at par. It could be also the reason. I'm not saying it's the reason it could be. Are you there? What else do you think could be their problems? And what else would you think should Gabivas do so that she help herself out? Kindly leave your comment at the comment section. Let it be so respectful. And at this point, if you didn't see fit, you want to help the Gabivas, you can reach to her. He's got, she's got a YouTube channel by the name Gabi Melon, not Gabi Vas. The, the one Gabi Vas before <coughs> was, was hijacked and was hacked. Now she's opened a new one by the name Gabi Melon. So go there, tap Gabi, at Gabi Melon, you'll find her, you can reach her, uh, any word of advice, any other kind of things that you can help so that she gets evacuated out from there to a safer place so that the name of Nyabohanze has been trending for wrong reasons. And this one should never be also in the headline. Let us not wait to the things that we are thinking. We don't want to think hard. That's why I'm not mentioning it. I just want to think so simple that let's help evacuate Gabi Vas so that she becomes so safe. So that the name of Nyabohanze itself should not come to another drama. Until next time, this is Daniel.